In this screencast I'll show you how to add adaptive release conditions to content in Brightspace. So the first thing you do is find the bit of content that you want to add a release condition to, click the down arrow and then click edit properties in place and then we come down to this part where it says add dates and restrictions and you can add dates here but the bit we're focusing on today is release conditions so we click create and then we have different options here so it could be that there's an assignment and once the student submits to the folder then that allows the content to be released so what we would do is select submission to folder and then we'd cl click the particular assignment that they need to submit to alternatively there's things to do with awards checklists uh, all sorts of other different things um, there's also quizzes so once they've completed a quiz attempt for example um, then something would be released and again you would have to click on the quiz that they need to com complete so I'll click create and now they must uh, complete at least one attempt on this quiz the geography quiz in order for this content to be released click update and now that has updated. Now there's a big list of different release condition types on this website and I'll put a link to this in the video description so you can see these different types and, and a description of each and also just to say you can add a release condition to quizzes so when you're in the manage quizzes area if you click on your quiz and click restrictions then there's an option here where you can create and attach a release condition just in the same way as I showed you before so overall that's been a screencast about adding uh, release conditions to content in Brightspace